Hey everybody, my name's Mike from Portland Pinups and today I'm going to show you how to use your own paper textures and ripped borders within on one effects. So we're going to be using these two assets today. One is a paper texture and one is a ripped border. The paper I bought from a stock library. There are tons of different stock libraries out there that you can get great textures from or you can photograph your own, just get some paper and take a quick picture of it. For textures you want to save your file as a JPEG file. For the border, I just got some black card, ripped it up so that I had some nice soft edges to it, photographed it, brought it into Photoshop and made this rectangle shape. And then I just made sure that my edge was white and the middle was black and we'll see why once we bring it into On1FX. So to get these in, first thing you want to do is go to Manage Extras. Let's do the texture first. We're going to click Texture, click Import. There's my paper, click Open. We'll create a new category. Let's call it Mike and click OK and that will bring in the texture for us. Lovely. Now let's do the border and with borders you want to save your files as an 8-bit RGB PNG file. That's the best way of saving those. That's what I've done there and let's bring that one in and we'll again create a category, call it Mike. OK. Takes a bit longer for that one. Done. OK. Now we're ready to use those two files. So let's open up this portrait here and I want this to look like an old vintage poster. And again, right now it looks like a brand new poster, so let's make it look a bit old. Let's do the texture first. So we're going to click on textures, and now when we go down into the bottom of the textures, we can see there's a new category called Mike, and there's my paper. It looks great. It's not quite wide enough, so let's up the scale slightly to make it fit. Great. And then let's look at the different modes here. So if we go up to normal, oh, that's very bright. Subtle, lighter, darker, or replace. All different modes and you've got to play with those to see which one fits your image and what you're planning on doing with it. I really want this to look like an old poster so light is pretty good but I don't like what it's doing to her so I'm going to stick with replace I think but that's too much. It's, it's harder than I want it to look. I'm going to drop the opacity down to about 50% or so. That looks pretty good. We've got this lovely paper edge going on around and it's covered this texture. Looks nice, like it's nice and old and funky but it's too much on her so I want to brush that off a little bit. So what we can do is go up to textures and click this little plus and that gives us a mask. And the mask at the moment is plain white, which means that everything's showing through. Now I want to paint off this a little bit. So you can see where my brush is here. It's a nice big brush. I'm just going to make it a little smaller. I have a big feathered edge. I've got a 50 feather on the edge, nice and soft. And I'm also using a Wacom tablet with a pressure sensitive pen, which I recommend you do use. And if you have one of those, make sure you click the little wheel here and have pressure adjusts opacity. And that means that the harder you press, the more effect it will have. And if you back off and don't press as hard, it will have less effect. Okay, so now I'm just gonna brush a little bit over her face here. I don't want it to cover her so much, a little bit on the body. And because I'm using that tablet, I'm just pressing nice and gently so I can build up as I go rather than hitting it with one big stick immediately. And you can see on the mask here how it's just gently building up a little grey. I don't want it to be black immediately, I want it to gently build up. There we go, that looks much better. Okay, so we've got a texture on her, that looks good. Now I want to add a border. So we're going to go to Add Filter and click on Border. And there again, there are tons of really fun borders already included, but now we've got a new category down the bottom, Mike. And there is my paper border. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just click Scale to make it fit. There we go. And like I said, best thing to do is to create your border with the white edge and then black in the middle. But hang on, Mike, I can't see anything. No, you can't. What you need to do is click mode and just go lighter. And immediately anything that's black will now show through the picture just like a mask and anything that's white will knock out the picture. So now we already have a border, but she doesn't really fit in there. At the moment, I'm cutting off the top here and down the side. So we can adjust that slightly. First of all, let's use these little toggles here. We can rotate the border around that one looks better and then we can also flip it and flip it that way as well and then we can also fit where it says here fit image if we just do that we can bring down the size of the image within it slightly that's getting more like it I think can I get it all of it in that's better now I can see my whole headline we're just cutting off the S slightly but that's not too bad but now she's got a nice funky border to her and a nice paper texture both of which took less than two minutes dead easy to do have fun with it yourselves and I'll see you next time thanks guys